Determining the Resolution of Your Computer Monitor There are a lot of misconceptions about how resolution is determined for a computer monitor. Many computer graphics books that cover this topic state that the computer monitors have a resolution of 72 pixels per inch or 72 ppi. You're about to discover that this is rarely the case. This is my ViewSonic P815 color monitor. It's specced as a 21-inch monitor. Of course, this refers to its screen size measured diagonally, as you see here. The actual viewable area measured diagonally is specced at 20 inches. More importantly, the visible screen area on the monitor measures 16 inches across and 12 inches tall. Okay, so what is the monitor's resolution in pixels per inch? Well, this depends entirely on how many pixels we choose for the monitor to display. I can control this from the Windows desktop. I'll right-click the mouse anywhere in the open area of the desktop and select Properties. When I select the Settings tab, we see a slider that allows us to choose the screen resolution. When I move the slider to the extreme left, it tells me I can select a resolution as low as 800 pixels across and 600 pixels tall. At the opposite end of the slider, I can set the monitor to a much higher resolution, 1920 pixels across and 1440 pixels tall. Let's see how my monitor looks when I choose a resolution of 800 by 600 pixels. Here it is. There are 800 pixels across and 600 pixels vertically. Now let's calculate the resolution with this display. 800 pixels divided by 16 inches equals 50 pixels per inch. Likewise, when we calculate vertically 600 pixels, divided by 12 inches equals 50 pixels per inch. It's evident that the resolution certainly isn't 72 pixels per inch. With 800 by 600 pixels on my 21 inch ViewSonic monitor, the resolution is 50 pixels per inch. From the Windows Display Properties dialog box, I'm going to change the resolution to 1024 by 768 pixels and click OK. Here's my screen with 1024 pixels across and 768 pixels vertically. Now let's calculate the resolution in pixels per inch. 1024 pixels divided by 16 inches gives us 64 pixels per inch. Likewise, when we calculate vertically, 768 pixels divided by 12 inches equals 64 pixels per inch. Once again, we don't have a monitor resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Let's try the next highest setting. Right click, Properties, Settings. I'll choose 1152 by 864 pixels and click OK. Here's how the screen looks with 1152 pixels across and 864 pixels vertically. Again, we'll calculate the monitor's resolution in pixels per inch. 1152 pixels divided by 16 inches gives us 72 pixels per inch. Well, how about that? We finally arrived at a combination with a number of pixels across divided by the width of the monitor gives us exactly 72 pixels per inch. This is also confirmed in the vertical direction where 864 pixels divided by 12 inches gives us 72 pixels per inch. We'll try one more setting. From the Windows Display Properties dialog box, I'll choose a much higher resolution. Sixteen hundred by twelve hundred pixels and click OK. Here's our screen with 1600 pixels across and 1200 pixels vertically. The math is pretty easy this time round. 1600 pixels 
divided by 16 inches, gives us 100 pixels per inch. Equally as easy to calculate, we have 1200 pixels vertically, divided by 12 inches, giving us 100 pixels per inch. Having set my monitor for a variety of screen sizes, we only encountered one instance where the resolution happened to be 72 pixels per inch. It's actually quite rare that your screen resolution will turn out to be 72 pixels per inch. Go ahead and measure the physical viewing width of your monitor in inches and divide this into your screen's width in pixels. I'd be very surprised if you get 72 pixels per inch. The more important question is whether there's an ideal monitor resolution that we should be striving for when working with digital images. Well, the answer is yes. Ideally, your monitor should be set up so that you achieve a resolution between 80 and 100 pixels per inch. This makes on-screen photographs look sharp and clear. When the resolution is low, for example, 50 pixels per inch or even 72 pixels per inch, photos tend to look grainy and coarse. My wife is using a 19-inch Nokia monitor that physically measures 14 inches across for the viewable screen size. To achieve a desirable viewing environment for working with digital photos, she set her monitor to 1152 by 864 pixels, resulting in a favorable resolution of just over 82 pixels per inch. One nagging question remains. Why do so many books and technical articles keep referring to 72 pixels per inch as some kind of magic number when they talk about screen resolution? Here's the answer. Remember when I set my monitor at 1152 by 864 pixels and the resolution happened to work out to exactly 72 pixels per inch? Watch what happens when I display a photograph on my desktop. This picture was sized in Photoshop to be 5 inches wide and 7 inches tall with a resolution of exactly 72 pixels per inch. Let's measure its dimensions on the screen. Well, how about that? The image measures out on the screen to be exactly 5 inches wide and 7 inches tall. So the magic to the story is simply that if your monitor happens to be set for 72 pixels per inch, images that are saved at 72 pixels per inch will appear on the screen at the same physical size as when they are output on a printer. This is not a big deal. I'd much rather see you increase your monitor's resolution up to 80 to 100 pixels per inch so your digital images look their very best on screen. By the way, here's the same image displayed on an 800 by 600 desktop, which is 50 pixels per inch on my monitor. The image now measures on the screen as 7.2 inches wide and 10 inches tall. When my desktop is set for 1024 by 768 pixels, which is 64 pixels per inch on my monitor, the very same image measures out at 5.6 inches wide and 7.8 inches tall. What I'm showing you is that it's highly unlikely that images saved at 72 pixels per inch will ever appear their actual size on a computer screen. If you're told to scan and save images at 72 pixels per inch so they'll be exactly the same physical size on your web page, you'll know this is not the case. In tutorial number seven, dealing with scanning fundamentals, we'll show you the proper way to scan images and determine their screen size when targeting them for a website. Once again, if you save an image in Photoshop at 72 pixels per inch, and if your monitor's resolution just happens to work out to 72 pixels per inch, then the physical dimensions of the image on the screen will be the photo's actual size. It hardly ever happens. Finally, don't concern yourself with trying to get your monitor to display exactly 72 pixels per inch. It's simply not a high enough resolution when working with digital images. Resolution of on-screen images. You've now learned that the resolution of a computer monitor in pixels per inch depends on two factors, the physical dimensions of the screen and the number of pixels you choose to display on that screen. You've also seen that the resolution of a computer monitor rarely works out to be 72 pixels per inch. Therefore, it's very unlikely that images scanned at the so-called monitor resolution of 72 ppi will ever display on the screen at their actual size. 
From now on in this course, we will never refer to the resolution of an image in pixels per inch if that image is being targeted for output on a computer screen. In other words, if we're scanning a picture or sizing a digital photo for a website or a multimedia presentation, we won't be talking about how many pixels per inch the image contains. Instead, when it comes to on-screen images, we'll now refer to the image size purely on the basis of its pixel dimensions. You'll be hearing me saying something like, this is a photo that's been sized to 300 by 200 pixels, and it's being displayed on a 1024 by 768 desktop. The use of the term pixels per inch for digital photos will only come into play when I'm talking about outputting the image on a printer. We'll explain this in much more detail when we examine resizing images in tutorial number 8.